Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Market Insider TV. This is Brian Hoops from Midwest Market Solutions. It's Wednesday morning, January the 31st. Thanks for joining us here as we look at our opening commentaries for our Market Insider TV segment. We do this uh, Market Insider TV twice a day, every day, morning and evening commentaries. Most of the time we're going to look at uh, a computer screen and look at some charts and what's the day's activity uh, has been or what big moves occurred in the overnight. Uh, this morning here we're, we're going to uh, talk about what's happening. We had the fourth consecutive day of a corn sale this morning. 145,000 metric tons of corn sold to an unknown destination. So it's third day this week. We had one on Friday. Makes four consecutive days. We've really shown that uh, there's two things that's going on. The dry weather in Argentina is uh, concerning for the corn crop and, and exporters are coming to the United States to uh, buy their supplies. Plus we've got price levels where we're at starting to stimulate a little bit of demand, especially with the U.S. dollar uh, at three-year lows. And so we hope that that would translate into better exports for wheat as well, but we have not seen much in the way of export business. Japan is tendering for wheat this week at their weekly tender, but it's pretty much a routine tender of about 111,000 metric tons of wheat. We've not seen any soybean uh, tenders as well, despite the fact that Argentina's soybean uh, production is threatened because of the dry weather. Certainly end users have been in scrambling to buy meat coverage in soybean meal and that's given us support in soybeans but as far as a demand rally it's not occurred so far. Uh, still plenty of time for that. We are sitting back in the overnight trade a little bit um, as forecast have added some rain into the dry areas of Argentina but that's in the extended 11 to 15 day time frame and there looks like there's going to be some snow events although very light and separate events not a big heavy snowfall uh, that should help give some moisture to the winter wheat plains but uh, again this is kind of a hit or miss forecast and I, I think your dry pattern is going to continue to be dry. In fact, our weather cycle that we watched closely on Monday changed to more of a drier and warmer pattern out of this cold and a uh, little bit wetter conditions that we've been under. So more stress seen against the winter wheat crop as it starts to break dormancy in a lot of areas. Our office here in, in Missouri, we're going to have a 60 degrees today and grass is starting to green up in a lot of areas. So uh, we're not that far away from seeing wheat break dormancy and it's, and it's tough conditions right now. And so so pullbacks likely to be well supported and find some buying interest. Livestock trade, it looks like there was really good cash cattle movement yesterday as far as volumes go from uh, the, sh the state by state numbers. Cash trade a dollar lower in almost every area, 126, but still good demand from the packer to buy cattle on Tuesday. Out of, they're going to be out of the market the rest of the week. I think futures do correct based off of that uh, news that we, we're not looking for any cash trade, but uh, funds should come in and be supportive to this market. I'll be doing the Sirius uh, Satellite Radio Commodity Wrap Program this evening. I believe it's channel 141 on your XM dials. Uh, so hope you have a chance to check that out. If you have any questions, get a hold of any of our offices. They'd be glad to assist you as far as marketing, uh, setting up a marketing plan for you. There's a lot of meetings coming up here in the month of February. Uh, for our office, we have six meetings in January and February around the Midwest, up in Minnesota, Illinois, uh, Northwest Iowa has a meeting, and as uh, Jerry Welch, our office in Montana, speaking at Commodity Classic uh, in Anaheim, California, coming up. So a lot of meetings going on. Uh, we'll be doing our webinars as well. Hope we can give you some information, and uh, check us out online, MidwestMarketSolutions.com, for more info or contact any of our offices. This has been Brian Hoops. Have a great day trading, everyone. Talk to you soon.